Good day everyone, this is Fuzzbuzz back with more of Pokemon Heart Gold. Today we will be going to Kanto and starting the post game and just like the beginning of the game, your mom will come up to you and talk to you. But uh, she only has two lines this time telling me to talk to Professor o Elm because he's got stuff to say. And Cameron's being a loner, completely ignoring him and heading to Elm's lab and talking to Elm and he has the SS ticket. He'll be giving it to us right now, and, um, yeah, that ticket will allow you to go to the fast ship at Alban City, which will allow you to go to Kanto, and, um, I've adventured all around the world, and please give my best regards to Oak, I think he says. And right now I'll be flying to Alban City, obviously, because that's the place to go to, and we'll be starting the post game now and heading to the region of Kanto, fully accessible now, and, um, that's pretty good, because now there's a whole bunch more to do, and Cameron's over there, what? Dude, you're a ninja. I met you like five sec- ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, now heading to the port, and Oak is right there waiting for us, and he's got stuff to say. Let's see. Hello, you're starting to have the attitude of a champion, Fuzz. And he'll be upgrading your Pokedex into national mode, with all 493 slots available, and data accessible thing. Oh, time flies, and he talks about the Goldenrod Radio Show which he's going to go to right now. He always talks about that. Anyway, right now, checking out the Pokedex. And as you can see, it says Johto Dex and National Dex over there. And checking the Johto Dex, it has 253 Pokemon. We'll get more later on. And showing you the National Dex. Um, it still has 250, but we can get a whole lot more Pokemon later on, so that's good. I'll be showing you more Pokemon for all four regions and all four generations of the games and a pearl over there. Let's talk to these people. They may be of interest. No, they're boring. How dare you be boring to me? Wasting my time. How dare you? Anyway, talking to more people actually. Let's see what you've got to say. Many rare Pokemon live there. Great. We're gonna head there, obviously. And I'm um, talking to you. You're gonna move out the way if I give you the if I flash you the SS tickets. And right now, I'll be able to head over here, and there's one more hidden item right at this place, and it is a protein. And talking to one more sailor, and now it's time for us to go on a boat on the way to Kanto. And an old man will crash right into you. How dare you, old man. And uh, the main character is at a wall. He just stands there and doesn't get pushed around. And um, Bobo will call you, and he'll tell you stuff about how there is um, object plate, object arrangement in Safari Zone. We'll talk more about that later on. But anyway, you get a call from Bobo later on, um, after you get the national decks. And anyway, um, this guy, he, as I said before, um, his wee little girl got lost, and he's worried for her. And I don't really care, but we will be we will be searching for her later on, but right now I'll be battling more trainers and getting more experience. And I'm pretty sure this guy's a Bronzor, a Pokemon from Sinnoh, so I'll be getting Fido up in front, and Fido will be able to take down this Bronzor. Alright, let's battle. Are you alone? Let's battle. And why do we have to be alone to battle? I don't get that. Maybe you want to, like, cheat or something. I'm not sure, but either way, Fido... Um, I'm not sure 100% of Bronzor's typing, but I am sure positive it's part Steel type. It may be Steel Psychic, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Steel Psychic, but yeah. No nonetheless, it's still Steel type, and Fido can take it down in one hit with Flamethrower. Next up is a Golem, a Pokemon from Johto. Um, Johto and Kanto, same thing, but either way. Yeah, actually, Johto and Kanto have very similar Pokemon. Johto has, obviously, new Pokemon, but in the Johto decks, I'm pretty sure in the Johto decks, each and every Kanto Pokemon are included. I'm pretty sure. Well, other than, um, probably Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, but Mewtwo and Mew and Pokemon like that, but either way, I'm pretty sure. Either way, um, there are a lot of Pokemon in the Johto decks that have Kanto Pokemon. I guess. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, in the Johto decks, a lot of the Pokemon are from Kanto. There you go. Because, um, J 
Johto really does not have that many new Pokemon introduced. It's just... It, 100 new Pokemon, which is not that much compared to most other regions. Actually, no. 100 Pokemon, that's a lot. But either way, a lot of Pokemon from Johto, uh, from Kanto, is in the Johto decks. And that took me forever to say. Anyway, Delibird goes down, and I really like Delibird a lot, but the thing is, Delibird is pretty horrible, and stats suck a lot, and I'd really like it if Game Freak actually made an evolution for Delibird, which I'm really hoping they make one soon, because, as I said, I like Delibird a lot. Anyway, and you are a baby. You qualify as a baby for me because you're like five years old. You look like you're five years old. And that, for me, qualifies as a baby. And go Crikey and Blitzen. And I'll be using Surf with Crikey because I want to see how manly Blitzen is. And hopefully Blitzen survives. Blitzen use return on that Teddy Ursa. Alright. Let's see how manly Blitzen is and how long he can withstand Surf. Or how well he can withstand Surf. And um, Fan P will go down to Surf obviously. And Surf obviously is not needed. I'm not sure why I did that, but sure. Blitzen just... Good. You're manly. I'm proud of you. And Fanpy goes down in one hit, and so does City Ursa. Both one and KOs. Great, and that's it for these twins. Let's see what they say. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. Oh, you guys are so predictable. Twins saying the exact same things. Anyway, heading out of this room. Heading to battle more trainers. Alright, I battled you. And if you did not know, Bronzor is a Pokemon from Sinnoh. And that's why the National Dex helps out, to get more Pokemon registered outside of Johto. And you're sleeping. Oh, you're useless. Heading up here and any people to battle? Nope, it's an empty room. No! I feel unloved. Let's head down here. And I think this is my cabin because there's a PC over here. I'm pretty sure I can go heal and I can indeed heal. A comfy bed. Time to sleep. Great. Ah, refreshed and restored. Yay! Fun, fun, fun. And right now, getting Blair up in front, because Blair needs some love. Okay, let's see what this sailor has got to say. Here's your cabin. If your Pokemon get hurt, that'll heal them if you go on the bed. Alright, I already knew that, but anyway, battling you. And you're gonna put on fire breathing shows in Kanto. And he probably is gonna burn down Viridian Forest, and I'm mentioning that because Viridian Forest is back in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I mean, it's introduced in Heart Gold and Soul Silver because back in Gold Silver Crystal, Viridian Forest was Route 2 because um, the cartridge for Gold Silver Crystal would not be, would not, um, it did not have enough room or enough memory to fit Viridian Forest. So it was renamed to Route 2 and it really sucked. It was completely bad and yeah, it wasn't that good. And now that the DS cartridge cartridge has enough space in it, um, Viridian Forest will be in these games, as it should have been in Gold, Silver, Crystal, but due to having not enough memory, it wasn't there, but now it is in these games, which is awesome, because Viridian Forest is awesome in these games. Really, really good. And, um, Crikey's level 46. Crikey is getting way too much playtime, but, you know what, Crikey, you're pretty good, because if it was not for you, then I would not be able to beat Lance. And that one uh, X attack really helped me out a lot. Even though it was a bit cheap, X attack really helped me out huge. And Psybeam will obviously take care of this coughing like it did the first one. And this fire breather goes down. A coughing, a magmar, and a coughing. Not a magmar, a flareon, my bad. And that's it for you. Fire breather Lila's down. Fizzle, the flame's tiny. Haha, <laughs> it's tiny. Lol. And nothing much going on over here. Now I'll be heading down. I think it's... Yeah, there you go. Down to the lower level of the ship. The boat. Whatever you want to call it. And, um... Yeah. I'll be battling this guy now. And I'm pretty sure he has a Mr. Mime to start. So I'll be getting fired up in front with Crunch. And battling you. You're seasick. I am so sad for you. Actually, I'm not, because if I was feeling sad for you, then I would not be battling you, because I chose some mercy. But I'm cruel, and I'll be battling you, even though you're seasick. And I'll be kicking, kicking your butt, even though you're seasick. And Mr. Mime goes down one hit to crunch, even though it's pretty... Actually, no. Mr. Mime's only good at special defense, 
not physical defense, and uh, Crunch is a physical move, so that's why it goes down. And next up for him is a Magmar. Okay, I'll be getting Crikey up in front, obviously. Crikey is getting way too much playtime, as I said, but, you know, Crikey is helping out nonetheless, so... Whatever works, I guess. And go Waterfall. Obviously, a one his KO. And, um, yeah. Magma goes down. Great. And I'm pretty sure he has one more Pokemon remaining. And no! Crikey is burned! How dare you burn my cute little crocodile slash alligator. Not really cute, kind of fierce. But, yeah. And next up is Machoke. Machoke, obviously, it's time for Talon to do stuff to Machoke. Alright, go Talon! Yeah. And Machoke goes out, and time to use Fly, even though that's kind of useless. I should have used Aerial Ace, but whatever. And Seismic, Sto Seismic Toss still hits while I'm in the air, because it just does. And Seismic Toss always does the damage that it's on its HP. If it's like level 10, then it did, then it would do like 10 um, hit points of damage. But it's level 37, so it does 37 hit points of damage. Yeah, not really good at explaining, but either way, it does the same amount of damage that its HP is. Nope, no hidden items. Alright, then I'll be heading this way now, and let's see what I can do over here. Oh, well, that heads up, my bad. Heading down now. Um, and heading around and battling you. Haha, <laughs> secret ninja tactics. Battling you. Okay, let's go. You're on a break. Not that I care. And you did not even see me coming, I'm so ninja. Alright then, he's got a Makuhita. Go Fido, and go use Flamethrower. Endure, oh come on, don't do that. I really hate moves like Endure, which like, wastes a lot of time, even though it's completely useless because Makuhita will die anyway, or faint anyway, but either way, yeah. And, oh, burn, yes! That makes me a bit happier. Burn itself, and, yep, it goes down, great. Uh, alright. And next up is a Raticate. Raticate, um, same story, Flamethrower, go! And hopefully it's a one hit KO! Go, Flamethrower! Burn, that's rat. Burn, burn, baby, burn, I guess. Critical hit. Alright then, either way it's down, and, um... Sailor Jeff, win or lose, my break's over! Great! And now heading around, and hopefully I can head to this generator place. Uh, yeah, we have to go find his buddy. And I'm not sure if I have enough time, so I'll be showing the highlights of this battle because I don't want to waste time. Here we go. He's got a Machop, then a Psyduck, and his last Pokemon's a Machoke. And that's it for this manly man sla sailor. Whatever. Mm, I just woke up, I couldn't focus. Stop making excuses. You're not a man, you have a Wii in your room. My brother is a Sony freak, and so am I, kind of, but I really want a Wii anyway. But anyway, battling you, and showing the highlights for you again. She's got a Seeking. And Fido survives and takes care of Seeking, and I'm not sure how our little girl got here somehow. I mean, I was not allowed in. This little girl was. And, wow. Or you, you're too strong, alright. And it's kinda cool you can hear the, ge the generator beside you, I like that a lot. Good little thing. You can hear the water beside you, you can hear the generator beside you doing stuff, so that's kinda cool. Heading to the captain's cabin. And little girl. Okay, very suggestive, but I won't make anything bad out of a children's game. And she wants to play more, but the captain will not play with her. And I'll play hide and seek with you because I want to play with you, I guess. Heading down, and I have. and I'm pretty sure I know where she is. Let me go check. I'm pretty sure she's at the very left corner. In a corner all alone, hiding. There we go. Talking to you, and you take forever to get out. And you, you found me. I'll go back to my grandpa. And yes, we rescued the little girl, and he's all happy. And he gives you a metal coat if you give that to a Scyther. And if you give that to if you give that to Scyther and you trade it, then it'll become a Scizor. If you give that to an Onyx and you trade it, it'll become a Steelix. But anyway, next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we will be going to Vermilion City. I will see you guys then.